So this past week we went over Luke 6 verses 27 through 36. Um, obviously I took my key little points and takeaways from it. Um, I got some little breakdowns, but I want to go over the summary points first. It is, you got to go out of your comfort zone. You have to be as merciful as our Father is with us. It's, they don't know the love of God, so they don't know how to respond to situations. It's the context of religious persecution of those who oppose our faith. The power of love lo flows through the reborn and the Holy Spirit will work within. Jesus is a direct understanding of God's love, the divine love that's demonstrated to others. Above all possessions, love one another. Repent, seek, have forgiveness for those who we have not given that to. Learn from Christ what it looks like and have selfless love of God. There's golden commandments of which it says to love your enemies, do good to those who have hatred, bless those who curse you, and praise your praise, pray for your abuser. Love isn't just a feeling, but it's an action. And while you're doing so, trust in God because He's not going to let anything go unhandled. It's for Him to handle that situation, but it's for us to love as He has called us to. Jesus modeled that behavior, especially when He was being cursed, He was being thrown at, He was crucified having that forgiveness for those and that love for them still. Um, Jesus wanted positive actions done towards enemies. It wasn't justified to do unwell to others, to have that positive action in words, having real sacrifice, expecting nothing in return. To love others is a heart of being a disciple of Jesus. We have to love others more than Holy Spirit we have to love others more than possessions, and we can only do that through the Holy Spirit. And if we don't love others the way that Jesus does, we're just, we're in the worldly character and not of God's character. And it's really important that um, we do that. Love one another regardless, even at our farm.